temperature at the centre of the sun is 15 million degrees centigrade. Scientists here have created their own tiny star that is 10 times hotter. Their goal is to produce a cheap, safe form of energy that emits no harmful gases and no dangerous waste. The sun releases energy through a reaction called nuclear fusion. The sun is not a solid, liquid or a gas, but a fourth state of matter known as plasma. The sun's temperature is so high that electrons cannot stay attached to nuclei. It means they cannot exist here. Instead, the sun consists of electrons, protons and neutrons moving around at incredible speed in a plasma. Normally, protons repel each other because they have the same positive charge. However, in a plasma, hydrogen nuclei or protons are able to overcome their mutual repulsion and combine. In other words, they fuse. And as they fuse, they create helium nuclei and release huge amounts of energy. The continuous production of energy helps more protons to fuse and keeps the sun shining. If we could harness the power of fusion on Earth, we could generate huge amounts of energy. But to do this, we need to recreate the conditions of the sun in a lab. JET at the moment is the largest fusion reactor, reactor in the world. The JET is an experimental reactor. We don't produce net energy in JET. But they have proved that fusion power can work. One of the big technical challenges for the scientists is working with temperatures hotter than the sun. How do you heat a plasma up to a, to a temperature of, of, of 150 million degrees? Well, the answer is simple, in an oven. In fact, it's a microwave oven. So you stick your gas into a microwave oven, you switch on your microwave and it heats up. After a while, you reach temperatures of a few thousand degrees, but you will never reach the 150 million degrees. Why not? Because the particles hit the wall and they will cool down. Now, you can actually contain charged particles in the magnetic field. So if in our oven we switch on the magnetic field, then these particles will actually be contained by the magnetic field. That way you can keep them away from the wall. It's so hot inside the reactor, maintenance has to be carried out by skilled remote handlers. Although it looks like a computer game, these engineers have to train for three years to be able to control the robotic arms that operate inside the core. Despite the intense heat, Scientists believe that fusion power is far less dangerous than the traditional form of nuclear power, nuclear fission. It's very safe, and if anything goes wrong, then the plasma will cool down, and the fusion reaction can't take place anymore. So you will never have a possibility of a chain reaction. It can never run out of hand. If anything goes wrong, it immediately stops.